Hey fellas, letting Joe out today. Just gonna give y'all a heads up. Gonna let him out. Listen, if there's anything that looks like it ain't gonna work now, we will separate him, okay? Cause we don't need no bullying going on, okay? What is going on, Cog Squad? Jason, over here at Cog Hill Farm. Well, we're gonna try something today. We're gonna try something today. We're over here with Big Joe. And if you guys remember, we had to separate Joe because he was in this uh, pasture with Moody and Top. Here we go, 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 go. Go in there, Joe, go in there, Joe. But he was constantly, because it was breeding season then, and his hormones got all kind of squirrely. And so what was happening was, is he was steadily harassing Moody, even big Moody, y'all, my 1,600 pound steer. Joe wouldn't leave him alone. He was just all up his rear. I mean, it was, it was bad. And Moody couldn't even, couldn't even lay down. Well, then poor little Topper, who's our little Nigerian dwarf goat, Joe was steadily harassing him so bad. And it's just because his hormones were all out of whack because it was full-fledged breeding season then. Well, I tried to let him out not too long ago and it didn't work well. It didn't, it didn't work well. This was about a month ago, and he went straight after Topper, wouldn't leave Topper alone, so we had to separate Joe again. Well, he's calmed down a lot. He's not doing all that spitting and sputtering. You can actually see his legs are white right there. See his legs, how they're white? And that's because that male goats, when they're courting a lady, they will mark themselves to spread their scents and stuff, and so, Joe's not doing that. His legs are clean. He's not spitting and sputtering. So I think we're gonna let him out with Topper and Moody, if it works out. I don't know if it's gonna work out. He's gotta behave, y'all. He's got to behave. I can't have him picking on, especially little Top, and just harassing him so bad. So he's got to behave. Joe, you're gonna behave, man, right? If not, I do have the sheriff option too. Just want to put that out there. He ain't arrested nobody in a while, and I know he's biting at the bit. All right, let's see how this goes today. I think my best course of action will be to go ahead and feed everybody, get Moody and Top fed, get Joe fed. And I got that pasture separated by that electric fence that I pulled back and forth. You, you guys seen me do it, you know, a hundred times. I'm gonna close that fence off so Moody and Topper can't come over here while I try to get everything all straightened out. I'm not worried about Joe, he's not gonna do anything. It's just Big Moody the only one I'm worried about. I don't want my 1600 pound steer who thinks he's a lap dog come running at me wide open. I also forgot to mention this morning that Branton and Builders are here and it appears they're gonna start on the roof, the actual metal part of the roof and get that put on. So that's pretty exciting as well. What you think is gonna happen when we let Big Joe out today? Well, as long as there's no <laughs> <laughs> then we ought to be in the in the good. He ain't done that in a, in a week or so. He couple has weeks. not, he so that. to me that's an indication that he may be over it. And his legs are white. His legs are white. Yeah. He's looking fabulous. He is. He's a beautiful, beautiful buck. He makes and pretty babies like pears. He does. He makes beautiful babies. And we we uh we hate he had to be separated, but you know, for the other sanity it had to be done. Yeah. And it just may be something that has to be done on a yearly basis for three months or so. It may be. We will see. And it's not like he's away from everybody. No. Everybody's he's right there by everybody. He's still yeah. in his herd, even right. though he's separated by a fence. Right. Hey, big daddy. Where what you is doing? Rocky? Hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky's down there. What are you doing? Buddy. Here comes big man. Oh, they said, don't love on Rocky, feed me. <laughs> right? That's right. Good morning, Mildred. Good morning, Paris. Hey, Capri. Good morning, Boots. There's Miss Bo Peep, Miss Fifi, and Rotten Tip over there. Well, you forgot one main lady. I ain't forget her yet. 
one main lady down I here. I ain't forget the boss lady yet this morning. With her gummy vitamin and mineral oil in her mini pig feed that's been wet down. Doesn't that sound good? She gets treated like royalty. She does. She is royalty. <laughs> right, Bandit? He said he's not far from royalty either. He's not. Good morning, Corny. You are looking quite handsome this morning. Yeah. So are you, Bandit. So are you. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Just want to keep you on standby in case you got to make an arrest this morning. We're going to, we're going to separate old Joe or let him out. So, uh, get your handcuffs ready and your squad car in case we need you. Hey, fellas, letting Joe out today. Just going to give y'all a heads up. Going to let him out. Listen, if there's anything that looks like it ain't going to work now, we will separate him, okay? Because we don't need no bullying going on, okay? But, uh, just let me know, Top. Let me know, Moody. We want it to go smooth. So everybody be on their best behavior, okay? All right, let me get you guys fed. We're gonna go, we're gonna go let old Joe out, okay? All right. It's gonna be a good day. This is gonna work. It's gonna work. We got good vibes today, Moody. Here we go. Got Moody over there eating. Gonna feed him some top this morning. And let's go get Big Joe. Joe, I'm gonna let you out. But you gotta promise me you're gonna behave now. Okay? You gonna promise me? Pinky hoof swear? All right. Come on. At right now. I need you to act right. All right, so I'm getting the fence down now. And I just ran one strand all the way down through there. That's what I had done. And I'm gonna get that down. Let's see if I can get this done for Big Moody decides he wants to play romper room with me. So we got the fence here. Let me set this across the other side for now. All right. Now all we do is sit back and wait because everything's open right now. I would, I guess it don't matter, but I would probably, I probably need to get this hay rack out of here because if not, Moody's gonna flip it over into the electric fence and that would not be good. So we're just gonna set this hay down here and they will eat this pretty quick. Man, y'all Moody would have this hay ring or hay rack right here. <laughs> ain't no telling. It ain't no telling what he'd do with this one. I mean, he flipped that hay cradle that's in Mildred in the goat stall all over the pasture like it wasn't nothing. I can only imagine what he do with this little baby. water over here and uh, I'm probably still gonna do that but I'm gonna empty it out and move it not so close to the uh, right there's better we'll fill that back up so right now Joe doesn't know it's open and uh, here comes Moody but Joe doesn't know it's open yet he thinks the fence is still there as far as he's concerned here comes big Moody
That's good right there. He's showing no interest in Joe. I mean, Joe's showing no interest in Moody. That's a good deal. All right. All right. Don't flip the Porter Hood over, Moody. Please don't flip it over. Thanks, big man. And there goes Joe to the hay rack. Moody's gonna go find his hay in a minute after he quits dancing. <laughs> they're, like, they're like little kids, something new, you know? Something new and we're gonna start dancing and frolicking. He found a mineral block, just like yours, Moody. This one's different because it's Joe's. All right, so far so good. So far, so good. I'm gonna put some water in that bucket later on, Moody. Now, I don't expect Joe to be 100%, whoa, big guy, 100% um, perfect. I mean, I don't, he's a goat. But as long as it's minimum, I don't care. You know, we're good. Oh goodness, now he's throwing that hay up. Moody, y'all go eat that hay before I get friendly. Yeah. All right. So far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Well, while that's going on, Brent and the builders are hard edit getting that roof put on. been a couple of hours we've been watching everything and so far everything's good we still got topper over here joe still hasn't migrated to the front half yet he's still staying back there but he's back there with moody moody's still back there and everything seems to be going pretty good let's walk around there and see if we can see joe and, and uh moody let's see here what's happening around here Joe's under the shelter you can see him there Moody's over here eating grass and top is right there so all was good Joe just saw us so he just came running but it's peaceful very peaceful so good news Joe good news buddy thanks for behaving I appreciate it So it is 101 degrees in the greenhouse with the sides rolled up and the door open. So it's officially time I need to put that shade cloth on the greenhouse. And I wanna see how much further it drops, I'm curious. And I'm hoping that we can just throw it over the top with no issues. Our other greenhouse was shorter and round and it was really easy. This one's a lot taller and not round so I'm hoping it works without putting any weights on it. We have to put some weights on it. But we shall see. Here is the shade cloth and it is a 50% shade cloth. And it should cool the uh, greenhouse on down. All right, let's try it. It don't matter. Okay. Yeah, I would say since the seams right there, mm -hmm. that's gonna be the outside, okay. and this is the inside. We'll figure it out when we holly. Gotta get it over there first. Gotta get it over first. Holly, go to work. We tie it to our tail. You think we can just take this part and leave it folded up and throw it? I don't know. Let's try that. Okay. Yes. Let me go hold the
can see the difference the shake off makes. Let's uh let's look at the thermometer here and see what it's up to. Yep, we were at 101 before we put it on there, and it ain't been on there very long, and now we're at 89 degrees. So 11. it's dropped 11 degrees pretty much already. 12. What you after, isn't it? That's what I'm after. We don't want our things to melt. Y'all, look at this thing. Oh my gracious. Look at this, y'all. Isn't this awesome? Man, this is this is really, 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 really awesome. And we're over here trying to some, figure some things out. First of all, I want to give you guys an update is that we decided to concrete and we're going to put stall mats on top of the concrete. We got so much feedback from you guys and from y'all's feedback and the research we've done, we think that'll be the best route for us. So we'll put stall mats down, the animals will be on the stall mats, be easier for us to clean, and we think that's the route to go. So that's gonna happen next. So Branton and we're gonna put it on pause until the concrete's done. That's right, and the um, concrete guys, the same one that we use for our house, for our driveway, for mama's house, for the garage, so he knows what he's doing, yeah. and we feel confident that when he says he will slope the concrete downward in order to let the water run out if we need to rinse it out, which we will, right. then it won't be an issue. So yeah. um, doesn't think drains are needed because he will slope it, so everything's going to go outside. And uh, I can't touch the sides. No. <laughs> you know. The last video I had when they had the tr all the trusses put in and the beams put in, it looked big, but now it really looks big. We can Man, get a, we can does get a it. Great idea of what the barn's gonna look like now. So much so that now we're starting to figure things out because me and you are not carpenters. Me and you're not foremen. We're not construction workers. And I can't, I can't come up with something without seeing it. I'm a visual person. And since this is up, we have figured out where we want our doors to go. That was a big issue. Yeah, because it, huge issue. Just on paper and looking at a blank slab, you we couldn't tell where we right. wanted doors, but now we've got a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna go with three on this side and then we're gonna go with two on this side. And we also decided to add a stall over here in this corner. So that will um that will give us pretty much what? Four, four big stalls. That's right. And then your milking room is gonna go in the uh, corner right there. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna go from that pole, which is 12 foot. And I'm guessing that's 12 foot. So I guess it'll be 12 by 12. Uh -huh. And that'd be plenty to milk your goats and put a refrigerator in there and a sink and that kind of thing. So and we'll it needs to there. be on a, a back wall for plumbing. Yeah. And we have to have a hot water heater because obviously you have to sanitize right. when you milk your goat so I need to be able to have hot water that won't be an issue I told you yesterday that once I saw this all come together I now want to get the airstream fixed <laughs> I said I wasn't living in a camper again and I'm not living in it right but just think as big as this area is when we get the airstream fixed it can be parked in here as well yeah or it could be parked on the side over there that's right yeah we've got plenty of options here to do with the Airstream. I'm starting to, my wheels are turning. <laughs> you kept telling me, Brooke, this is gonna be a lot of space. And I just, I didn't see it until the structure went up. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of space. So a you lot, guys advice to space. us initially was go big. Yes. Go bigger than what you think we you need. Right, and, and what I we think, could afford. I think yeah. we have superseded the size. So it I'm is coming I'm getting excited. On. Yeah, me too. I'm getting excited. Me too. I've even started looking on Marketplace for inexpensive refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be ahead of the Go, game. Hey, if you catch one, a good one. I know, so I'm set up for notifications, yeah. which is the best way to do it. People move all the time yeah. and their stuff has to go. Right. And I can get it. If I we can, can find one, it. yeah, we're going I'd to rather have an old one rather than a yeah, you know, new, new style. One. They right. seem to last so much longer. 
Plus, we like the single door instead of a, oh, you yeah. know, just And just the, old... the top freezer, no, yeah. no right. side by side. But I'll find it. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. That's right. Foxy, what you doing, baby? Foxy's loving it in here. This your new house, too? You gonna live with the boys? <laughs> huh? Mm. I know you're not, Missy. You're not gonna stay away from your daddy unless he's moving in. <laughs> Is your daddy moving in? Oh, gracious. Hmm? I had a couple of people, a couple of y'all reach out to me and say, Jason, I wish I'd have known about this post protector when I built my barn or I built my run-in shed or whatever it was that they built. I wish I'd have known about the post protector, but now it's too late. And I was like, well, wait a minute, not so fast. Because the company, Post Protector, also has a new product out that's made for retreating your poles. That's right. Have you ever noticed that your utility poles, your power poles, you don't see those things rotten because they retreat them every so often. Every so many e years, they retreat those poles. And now you can do that yourself because Post Protector has that product. And it is just this little stick right here, y'all. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna drill a hole in your pole, slide this stick down in there. It's got a plug, you're gonna plug it up. And then over time, when this thing starts to de detecting and it's the right, the right scenario in the right conditions to start retreating the pole, it's gonna start breaking down and retreating your pole. So therefore, if you missed the opportunity with the post protector, now you got it with these retreatment sticks. That's what I call them. It's just pretty awesome. EPA safe, EPA approved, safe to handle. Y'all check them out, postprotector.com. All the details are there about their retreatment product. And I'm gonna tell y'all where I'm gonna use these I'm going to use these on my fence post, my corner post, all here on the farm in the pastures. That way I don't have to worry about replacing them, tearing fence down and all that. This is going to come in handy for us, I can tell y'all that. All right, it's been a couple more hours. So you got Topper right here. Joe's back there eating hay. Here comes Moody. Everything's perfect. Here you come, Joe. Let's see if he goes to the scratching post. Yeah, he really ain't missing the topper at all. Not like he was last time. But now, this is this is this is normal. Here we can handle this, can't we, buddy? We can handle this, can't we, buddy? This is good news here. Yeah, this is good news for Joe. Yeah, he's not a hot mess no more, is he? No, he's not a hot mess no more. Not a hot mess. Nugget! You making sure Joe's staying in line, buddy? I think Joe's gonna be okay until next year. <laughs> oh, we'll worry about that then, right? Yeah. Hey Peaches, you know we've had some good transition days here lately. You know that? Cheese got let out with the chickens and he's doing great. The Easter Eggers got let out with the chickens and they're doing great. And now Joe. I mean it's been, we couldn't ask for anything better, you know it? It has been really, really some great transitions. Not to mention how the barn's coming along. I know you're excited about the barn. It won't be long, girl. It won't be long. All right, Holly, let's call it a day. What you think, hmm? Let's call it a day. Hey, 